Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for any questions you have about this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Reach out to me directly. Email tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we are discussing a beautiful mistake. Although 68 examples of the rose gold FP Journe Vagabondage 3 were manufactured, this one came out of the oven a little bit awry, because it's supposed to look like this. Notice the two-tone framing of the dial, rose gold and white gold. Now, take a look right here. That's wrong. And not only is that wrong, but this is confirmed by Montrejeune. The watch is wrong, but it's right. This is effectively an officially recognized mistake, and a beautiful one. Although at 68 pieces, the rose gold Vagamondage 3 was the scarcer of the two. They made 69 of the platinum. This is an unintentional piece unique and will always be so. You cannot find another one. This is it. The watch is, of course, identical to every other Vagabondage 3, but let's go through the motions. The watch is 37.6 millimeters wide, 45.2 millimeters from lug tip to lug tip. In terms of thickness, it measures 8.1 millimeters thick with a 19 millimeter spacing between the lugs. Zoom out, throw it on my wrist. As you can see, because it is so short across the wrist, it wears well. A little bit like the old Cartier Tour 2, and that's no coincidence. The timepiece is suitable for him or for her and flat enough to fit underneath a dress sleeve. The Vagabondage 1 was, of course, based on a movement that was once destined for a CPCP edition Cartier Tour 2, and that first movement and first Vagabondage set the template for what these watches would look like down the road. I can recommend this watch for a wrist as small as 13 and a half centimeters circumference. Let's take a quick look at the strap, and you can see that it is an FP Journe factory strap. Alligator leather on both sides. It is a semi-gloss, large rectangular scale alligator leather strap with black stitch, black coloration. You will note it has a folded edge on the underside, round, small-scale alligator. Gator on both sides is a way of building a more expensive but longer-lasting strap. You can see pull-tab spring bars are used on both sides, so you can remove the strap without requiring tools. And then a feature rare on FP Journe watches, a full deployment clasp, both polished and media blasted. This gives you extra added value, but also, in addition to the rarity, security against accidentally dropping your watch. Now, I will denude this watch of my fingerprints. The case is immaculate. There are no issues here. The marks you see are just fingers. And then it's all of high polish. Again, it has that distinctly Tour 2 shape, and you'll note a combination of polish and satin, breaking the finishes for a contrast. There's the bevel that runs the entirety of the mid-case, and a rather tapered and integrated lug profile. The watch is effectively all case with very little lug built in, and you can also see that it's of monoblock construction with all the mechanism and dial apparatus loaded through the back. This creates a seamless break between the bezel and the mid-case. They're all of one piece. We have the signature Journe crown, two dimples outside, and then a knurled surround. And this one is a little bit thicker, perhaps, to make it easier to grip, as it does have quite a bit of resistance when winding. The internal mechanism is impressive. But first, let's talk a little bit about this surround. From the first Montrejourne wristwatches in the 1990s, we had this practice of using assembly bolts on the dial side, which was controversial then, but has been almost universal copied today. We have a power reserve indicator. The watch is a double complication. The power reserve is 30 hours plus or minus two. The world premiere that debuted with this watch back in 2017 and 2018 as they rolled out was the continuously jumping digital seconds, and that's powered by the Remontoir de Galité constant force device that also underpins the precision of the chronomet optimum and the tourbillon souverain. So we have that remontoire here. Rather than a jumping seconds hand, we have a jumping seconds disc. We also have jumping hours. You can see that the minutes themselves, unlike the Vagabondage 2, are radial, indicated by a conventional hand with an off-white lacquering and that lovely tapered Journe biomorphic form. We also have a smoked sapphire that allows you to see the underpinnings of the mechanism, which is part of the show and part of the fun of owning this watch. And again, you've got this monochromatic surround rather than the two-tone for which the watch was originally designed. So this is entirely unique. At first glance, people might not spot it, but this is destined to become a bit of a celebrity watch in the Journe collector circles, because again, there's only one, and if you see it, you know you are looking at the one. Flip it all over, we have caliber 1514, rose gold, bridges and plates, like all Journe movements are. You can see all the branding is on the reverse side, because the Journe Vacabondage 1 was not, in his estimation, accurate enough as a chronometer to bear his name. He put his name in the branding 
sitting on the back. And while the precision has improved through these subsequent two editions, he continues the tradition of branding the watches on the reverse side. The movement is both sized and shaped for the case, a mark of a true manufacturer and Jorn making the cases, the dials, and the movements in-house. The balance is free sprung, as you can see it beats away at 21,600 vibrations per hour, and the movement is both precious metal and handsomely finished. It is a good looking caliber all told. 32 jewels, 15, 14, 15 being the size in French lean and 14 being the year work started on the movement. That's how Jorn movements are named. 30 meters water resistant, but if you take the swimming, I'm sorry, we cannot be friends. Reach out to team also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.